my Buddha my son. Salamat sa lahat ng law and extent sa pinos at mga taksa na pinabuhi. Let us come and rejoice in the presence of God who sustained us, who uphold us, who preserve us as His people. And we thank God for His mighty works in our midst. For all the things He has done in our midst, we know that God is in control. We know that God is very much conscious and aware of every situation of our lives. Salamat pa sa iyan, last siya kanunay, sa iyan puso, iyan kalipay, sa mga paglao na iyan sa aming dunan. Because this is the only hope we have in this journey, in this time of hard times. Let us come to prayer. Father in heaven, Lord, we thank you for this time. We thank you, Lord, for your gracious hand that is guiding us. For the wisdom, Father, that you provide us, Lord, as we live day by day, Lord, we trust only in your grace, mercy, love, and wisdom. Father, as we come together, allow us, Lord, to worship you in spirit and in truth. Allow us, Lord, to see your glory, Father, in your needs. Allow us, Lord, that our hearts is truly worshiping you, Father. Hearts full of gratitude, full of thanksgiving, full of hope and love. A heart, Lord, that is only broken and contrite before you, Lord. Humble before your greatness, before your holiness. Lord, bless every heart that worship you this morning, Father. Bless every hand that is raised before you, Lord. Exalting your name alone. Giving you honor, glory, and grace. Lord, we thank you for this beautiful day. For another message, Lord, that we will receive from you. Embracing it, Lord, so that we may continue in this journey, Father. Lord, it's all about you. And about your greatness, your power, your love and compassion, your mercy. Father, thank you. Truly, you are our God, living and powerful. Lord, for whatever you accomplished this morning, we know that it's for our own good. And we want to give back the glory and the honor and praises and all thanksgiving and all worship. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Psalm 62 says, Truly my soul find rest in God. My salvation comes from Him. Truly He is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I will never be shaken. Amen.
Good morning, mga igsuon. So, kumusta tang tana, no? Um, the Lord is just so faithful in our lives that gisustain taniya day in and day out, no? Kanunay tang gi uphold sa ginoo in the midst of this uh, uh, pandemic, this crisis, no? Uh, matinud anon gihapon ang ginoo. No? So, today I'm just so privileged to share to you the Word of God. So let me uh, lead you know, to uh, the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10, verses 12 to 13. Okay. Uh, now, now it says here in verse 12, And now, Israel, what does the Lord your God require of you but to fear the Lord your God, to walk in all His ways and love Him, and serve the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. Verse 13, And to keep the Lord's commandments and His statutes, which I am commanding you today for your good. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks and we give you praise, O God. We acknowledge your sovereignty, O God. We acknowledge your mighty hand, O God, that in the midst of this crisis, O God, in this ongoing pandemic, Lord, you are just faithful to sustain each and every one of us, O oh God. And at this time, O oh God, Lord, we pray for humility, for an attitude, Lord God, nga uh, uh, attentiveness, Lord God, nga maminaw sa imong mga pulong karon, Lord God. And even after hearing your word today, we pray that you will help us to be obedient, O oh God, to be doers of your word, O oh God. May you bless your servant, O oh God. May you anoint me, Lord God, not for my sake, but for your glory, Lord. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Now, I'm sure you are all familiar no, with this, uh, what we call a job description. Sa katong mga nagtrabaho, I know that you are very familiar with this. Uh, but for the sake, no, sa katong wala nakabalon, ini, no? uh, this is... Um, Basically, this is the summary of, or the list, no? Unsa imong mga anging buhaton when you are in a company or in an organization. So, bisan pa magwala pa ka na-admit sa kanang organization, when you, when you are interested, no? Or when, where you, when you want to apply for a position, uh, usually tanaw ni mo, no? Kung unsa may job description ka ani. Or when you are when you get accepted no by the company, the first thing uh, ihatag sa imuha would be the job description. So it tells you what to do no when you are uh, in your position in your role. So just imagine no kung it's your first day in the company and then ingnon lang ka sa management nga just do what you gotta do. Buhata lang unsa imong pananaw di mo nga sakto. Unsa tanaw ka nimo igsoon sa may mahitabo nimo. It would be a complete disaster, no? Nga naman, wala ka kabalong ang imong buhaton, it will be the best interest for the company. Wala ka kabaw ang imong buhaton sayop na di ito because you do not have a standard. So the purpose there of a job description is you will know what you are required to do. And not only that, makabalo ka kung kanus aka ni deviate or nitipas sa standard. And kaning book of Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy mga igso, no? naghatag ni siya og basic nga job description sa Israel or the people of God. So, ang nation sa Israel, mga igso, no? gitagaan na ni sila og basic responsibilities. No? All the way back from the book of Exodus, gihatag na sa Ginoo no ang mga commandments niya nga mao ni ang dapat nga buhaton but we all know the story that because of the stubborn hearts no of the people of Israel they needed to be disciplined they needed to be reminded and here we are no this passage nga tong nabasa sa chapter 10 this is a reminder no uh, god was telling them nga um mao ni ang Mao ni ang job description ng akong gihatag and let me remind you nga mao pod ni gihapon no ang ang atong sundon mao ni ang atong 
uh, responsibilities. And Israel, no, um, they came out from they just came out from the wandering experience, no. Gikan sila <clears throat> nag uh, nag suri suri sa kamingawan for forty years. They were under the discipline of God, and niining tak na ang egsoon. They were one step away from the promised land, no. They were about to cross the Jordan River, and as we recall, no, uh, the previous experiences of the nation of Israel, we know that God rescued them, no, um, as slaves, no, from Egypt. And during this rescue, gipamatuod sa ginoo mga egsoon nga He is a God of authority, He is a God of power, and He is a God who is sovereign. No, daghan sa mga provision, daghan sa mga um gipakita no ayang kaluoy ang iyang compassion nga nagpakita nga gamhanan gud siya siya si Yahweh siya si Jehovah Jireh siya ang Lord of Lords but then aside sa power sa Ginoo mga igsuon ang giprove pud sa Ginoo na pwila in unsa man na nga gihigugma niya ang Israel the Lord was not just showing no nga gamhanan ko no ipakita ang ila sa Ginoo of course he is powerful but on the other side, gipakita po sa ginoo ang ihang kasing-kasing. Gireveal niya nga ang ginoo di ay mahigugmaon. That He is not just a powerful God, but He is a personal God. In other words, Israel was very special to the Lord. They are very special to God. And in fact, mabata, mabasa na nato sa uh, chapter 7, mga egsoo, no? verses 7 to 9. The Lord did not set His heart on you and choose you because you were more numerous than other nations. For you were the smallest of all nations. Verse 8, Rather, it was simply that the Lord loves you and He was keeping the oath He had sworn to your ancestors. That is why the Lord rescued you with such a strong hand from your slavery and from the oppressive hand of Pharaoh. King of Egypt, understand therefore that the Lord your God is indeed God. He is the faithful God who keeps His covenant for a thousand generations and lavishes His unfailing love on those who love Him and obey His commands. No? The Lord is not just powerful, He is a truly loving God. And diri makita po nato mga igsoon nga there is nothing in Israel, siguro, that makes them worthy of the love of God. Amen? Because we know that Israel is continually stubborn. No? Gahit kay ulo ang mga taga-Israel. And we see here, even God no, um, said na there is, there is not kanang, they are not, they are not numerous than other nations. In fact, gamay lang kay sila nga nation. But God says here, very clear, that He loves them. It's all about the, the love of God. It's all about the choice of God. So tungod sa mercy and love sa ginoo, mga egsoon, He chose Israel for three things. Tulukabutang. First thing, He chose Israel to represent His holiness and righteousness. No? Ganahan, ganahan ng ginoo nga. Makaila ang kalibutan pinagi ni Israel sa iyang pagka balaan. Ikaduha, the, pur the purpose no, nga gipili si Israel to become a nation of priests, prophets, and missionaries to the whole world. Ikatulo, to be a separated people, to be a distinct people, lahi nga tao, that will point others towards God and His promised work of salvation in the person of Jesus Christ. Mga igsoon, dili di ay nga ang pagpili sa ginoo sa nasud sa Israel, it was not a random choice. There was a greater purpose nga nung gipili sa ginoo ang Israel because He wants Israel to become the center of worship. He wants Israel to become a mission to other countries. And igsoon, dili ba ni maupod ang purpose nga nung gi gi admitar ta no sa gingharian sa ginoo ano nahimo tang family members no, of the body of Christ this is exactly the same purpose mga igsuon yes we may not be israelites by blood no dili man kita 
a Jews mga igsuo, no? But by faith, we are children of God. We are baptized into the faith by the blood of Christ through faith in Him. In other words, kita mga igsuon, gipili ta sa ginoo to represent His holiness, gipili po ta sa ginoo to become a nation of priests, prophets, and missionaries to the whole world, and gipili po ta sa ginoo to point others towards Christ. Igsuon, ang kaning gihatag nga job description karon reminder sa ginoo sa Israelites, dili lang ni para ila. This is all for the people of God, including you and me. Ugmoni ang moni ang expectation. This is what God expects of us as His saints. So today, let me share to, to you, no, five uh, five responsibilities. What is the job description of the saints of God, of the people of God? And we are provided here, no, in verse twelve, the first one. The first on the list, we are to fear the Lord. We are to fear the Lord. It says in verse 12, And now Israel, what does the Lord your God require of you but to fear the Lord your God? Kung makadungog tag word na fear, mga igsoo, no? It's easy for us to uh, perceive na kaning, kaning kahadlok, this is um, associated no kanang mahadlok ta og mga nate mga phobia mahadlok barong kag animals mahadlok barong kag mga panghitabo o mahadlok barong kag dugdug or kani mga panghitabo ah, mo ni hinungdan nga malisang ka no you have that fear or di ba ka you are um, afraid of um, uh, the judgment of god or the punishment of god so dili ni siya mao nga fear dili ni siya mao ay, accurate nga definition sa fear nga gipasabot diri mga igsuon but ang pasabot diri is a deep respect or deep reverence for the Lord law nga pagtahod nga naha sa Ginoo dili ingon nga malisang mahadlo ka no? simple illustration would be if ang presidente sa Pilipinas no mo mo tuktok sa inyuhang balay nangita ni mo unsa man yung buhaton mutago ka mahadlok ba kaniya of course ita mahadlok no kay president guna we all know that he has the best intentions but but what will what unsa may na, unsa may response ni mo unsa may mong disposition you will have that deep respect grabe mong pagtaho no president guna sa Pilipinas and so on ang president sa Pilipinas any rank in the society wala ra nakakumingking sa Ginoo in other words, ang atong pag pag uh, respect, ang atong pag revere sa Ginoo dapat dako jud kaayo. And this is addressed to the people of God, no? And ang kaning atong kahadlok sa Ginoo mga igsuon, mo matter ba yan siya? If you are a Christian or if you're an unbeliever. Kay sa unbeliever, ang kaning fear of God, it means judgment, ang kahadlokan no sa kanang mga unbeliever, more on judgment or eternal separation mahadlok may impierno but if you are a believer of god it's more of the reverence of the lord it's more of worshiping the lord and israel no gipanish na sila kap kadaghan ng higayon tungod sa ilang pagka stubborn and ganahan ng ginoo nga over time dili ma-develop ito nga ang sense nga mahadlok sila tungod kay kanunay la silang gikastigo sa Ginoo nga mahadlok na sila sa punishment sa Ginoo but over time no ang goal gud sa Ginoo is that ma-instill ang fear sa iyaha in the sense nga nag-revere sila dili tungod kay nahadlok sa discipline but nagtahod gayod kanila and siguro ang best definition no, nga makita nato sa Bible is in Hebrews 12:28 to 29 nag-ingon Therefore, since we receive a kingdom which cannot be shaken, let's show gratitude by which we may offer to God an acceptable service with reverence and awe. For our God is a consuming fire. Sige butang de mga ikson. Offer to God an acceptable service with reverence and awe. 
It's not about the fear ng malisang ka. It's all about your respect, being in awe of God. So this means, mga igsoono, na genuine fear of the Lord will result in deep worship. Kung tinud-anay ang imuhang kahadlok, pagtahod sa ginuo igsoon, it will result, it will produce authentic worship. Okay? And having recognized the holiness and the greatness of God, no, you cannot help but be in awe at be in worship of Him. And it's so, mo ni ang siguro problema nato tanan, no? The world karon. Kaya ang kaning kahadlok sa ginoo na wag tang na. Sa ay uh, uh, complacent na kaya mga tao karon, di ba? And we treat nga uh, kaning mga immorality nga kanang normal na ni siya. Mo ni ang the new, the new norms. But it's so, if we are Christians, no? We na-admit na ta. Gi, gi, jo, ni join na ta anak na himo na kang anak sa Ginoo dan ato dapat nang barugan that we should fear the Lord every day of our lives dapat ato anang panindigan mga igsoon because that is our job description and not only fearing the Lord no ikaduha on the list we are to walk in the Lord's ways to walk in the Lord's ways it says here, but to fear the Lord your God, to walk in all His ways. To walk in all His ways. So what does it mean when we say we have to walk in all His ways? Now the word walk here means to live or to conduct oneself. And we all know that the word walk is an action word. No? And it also means na the way we conduct ourselves, we have to be consistent with the uh, the way that we live our lives, no, in accordance uh, with the ways of the Lord. And dinot ang pagka-translate no sa New Living Translation, nag-ingon diri, we have to live in a way that pleases Him. We have to live in a way that pleases Him. And we all know nga ang kaning uh, part mga igsoon, kaning paglakaw sa Ginoo, this is also the area where Israel failed many times. Diba? After Exodus, kanunay silang nagyaw-yaw, nag nagreklamo, naggrumble sa ginoo. Pag-abot sa Sinai, yung silang gibuhat, nagsimba sila o oh, golden calf. After sa Sinai, no? na ang fire, ang quail, ang rebellion ni Miriam, ang failed spy mission. No? Nga naman, kulang silag pagsalig sa Ginoo, gigamayan sila sa gahom sa Ginoo. Ug daghan pa no nga mga uh, daghan pa nga mga uh, instances nga nagpakita nga they are not pleasing the Lord. And nga no man, nga nung kinahanglan mang yud ta nga musunod yud sa pattern or sa ways sa Ginoo. Because if we do not do that no, it's very dangerous for us. Ano man, asa man na nato makita? It's in Proverbs 14, verse 12. There is a way which seems right to a person, but its end is the way of death. It's on human as we are, no, we are being tainted by sinful nature. Ourselves, no, our wisdom is being tainted by sinful nature. So it's not all the time that we Nga, nga kamauta, unsay dapat buhaton or mauban niya ang anging buhaton. When we follow our own ways kanunay mga igsoon, sa unahan, dako yung chance that we will stumble. Matakil po ta. Because we followed our own ways. And that is the, that is the sincere intention of God. Say, magunaw na ta nga, killjoy jo kay ang ginoo. Dili sa ganan nga enjoy ta. But that's the very purpose of God. It's for our it's for our uh for our kanang uh for our kanang safety, for our security, for our comfort, for our joy. Our flesh is sinful and our hearts are deceitful from Jeremiah. So dili jud kaayo ta. Dili jud ta makasalig sa ato ang 
kagalingon. And that is the reason why we need to walk in God's ways. Now, how do we walk? Kung saan man ito nga, paglakaw, what is our uh, method? Kung saan man ito pag, uh, uh, pag walk in God's ways? It says in 1 John 2 verse 6, Anyone who says he is a Christian should live as Christ did. So this is very, it's a kanang simple lang agihatag no ni John Dere, but it's a very hard thing to do. Kung ikaw ni profess ka nga usaka Kristo hanon, saan man mo paglakaw? You should walk as Christ walked. You should live as Christ lived. So unsa may message dere? The message here is that you follow the pattern of Christ. The life of Christ, no? You examine the life of Christ. Giyon sa man pagkinabuhi sa Ginoo, no, while he he was still on earth. In Romans 12:22, Romans 12:2, we are being reminded, no, to not conform to the patterns of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. It's all about the pattern, mga egsoon. So let me ask you this question today. In your walk, in your spiritual walk, what pattern are you following? Are you following the ways of the world? Are you following your own self, worldly advice, worldly philosophy? Let me tell you this, mga egsoon. Kabalo ang ginoo, no? Kung asa gita pa doon. That's why there is that uh, there is the Word of God for us as our basis, as our guide. That is where we get the right pattern of our walk, the Word of God. That is where we will know who Christ is and how He walked His life. Na asa pulong sa ginoo, mga egsoon. Not just to fear the Lord, not just to walk with the ways of the Lord, the third on the list no, of our job description as people of God is this, to love the Lord. To love the Lord. Walk in all His ways and love Him. Love Him. Brother, we have to love the Lord. We have to love the Lord. I mean, any people, if they love the Lord, well, the obvious answer would be yes. Diba? Young people, adults, old people, if you ask them, nahigugma ba ka sa gino? Of course, it, it's a straight answer. Yes, nahigugma jug ko sa gino. So is it, is it that simple? Is that definition of love? Maora bigid na siya? If we look in the previous chapters, mga igsoo, no? it says there in Deuteronomy 6 verse 5, you shall love the Lord your God with what? With what? All your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. What? Maodi na ang comprehensive, extensive definition sa love. Dili lang love the Lord. Napan apelido mga igsoon. Love the Lord with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your might. Wow. Motanak, is this really possible? Possibly ba ni siya? Ato ba ning mabuhat, no? Well, believe it or not, mga igsoon, no? Kani atong gugma sa Ginoo para sa Ginoo dili man igika nato amen it did not come from us we did not manufacture the love our love for God it is not something original in ourselves why did we have this love ngano na nganong nakatun man nga paghigugma sa Ginoo because Christ first demonstrated that love gipakita sa Ginoo pinaagi sa cross iyang gidemonstrate ang iyang paghigugma in that time, naigugma bang ginawa nato? Friends ba to si Gino? No! Christ demonstrated His love when? While we were still enemies of the cross. Ang itang silutan, ang itang uh, 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 bundakan sa rat sa ginoo. But unsa man ang gibuhat sa ginoo? He extended His salvation towards us. That's unconditional love. That's selfless love. And because of that act, because of that demonstration, mga igsoon, na-recognize na to, we acknowledge that act of unconditional love, and then we received Christ into our lives, into our hearts, and that's the time that we fell in love 
with God. Amen? That's the time that we fell in love with Jesus. So that's the greatest love story this world has ever known. That's your greatest love story. I'm sure kitang tanan natin yung mga tagsa-tagsa nga love story, no? Kasi yung uh, partners, yung wives, yung husband. We all have a unique love story. But it's soon, nothing, no love story in the world can compare to the greatest love story of the love of Christ. No? If you look at the, uh, the book of Hosea, that is one example where you see the depth of the love of God for you and me. In fact, gitawag na ng love sa ginoog, stubborn love. Kay bisag unsaon pa nato, God is always faithful to love us till the very end. And now that you are in a special relationship sa ginoo, na reconcile na ka sa ginoo, the next question is, how faithful are you in your relationship to Him? How faithful are we in our relationship to Him? And this is also, again, no? we go back to our example, to our context. This is the problem with the nation of Israel. They were always unfaithful to God. In fact, ang kaning pagka-unfaithful ni Israel, iyan ang gipakita sa wedding day nila sa Mount Sinai. No? Wedding days, wedding celebration, it's a very special day no? for all the couples. But what if on that day, no? um, na-witness ni mo or nakakita kasi mong partner may, um, being unfaithful to you. Unsa man imong mabati? Masakitan ka? Eh not just masakitan ka no? Maglagot ka, mapungot ka. Kay on that day jud nabuhat sa imong partner ang pagka unfaithful sa imo ha. Igsoon this is what happened to the nation of Israel. They were unfaithful even on the wedding day. The day that they said I do. They committed adultery to God. And this is the first commandment no nga gi gi emphasize gyud sa Ginoo mahitungod sa iyang relasyon sa Israel di ba nagingon siya I am the Lord your God you who brought you out of the land of Egypt out of the house of slavery you shall have no other gods besides me it's very very sad no nga nahitabo ni mga igsuon when Moses came down from Sinai, Mount Sinai, what did he witness? People are committing, Israel, his wife, is committing adultery or idolatry by worshiping the golden calf. And in today's society, mga isoon, kining pag-commit og idolatry or, I, or adultery, gihimo na ni siyang Gaan, gipagaan na ni ang sala karon. It's very, uh, it's taken lightly by our society. Ang atong immoralidad ning mubu na pag-ayo to the point nga mga pananas mga tao, it's normal raman na, gibuhat man ni so and so. So, it's just okay nga ato puning buhaton. And siguro na uban nga makaingon nga Di man brad, di man ni applicable sa mga because we have a healthy relationship with my husband, with my wife. Uh, okay, argued me kanunay. Bisan siguro katong uban nga mga single, mayon nga, ah, this text is not applicable to me because I'm not yet married. No? But so on, let me tell you here, what we are dealing here is the spiritual implication of the text. Because listen to this, in our hearts, many times, we have loved other things more than the Lord. Many times in our lives, we have loved more the things, the worldly things, more than we love the Lord. And I like it, no? Kapag ingon ni Chuck Swindle, adultery 
occurs in the head long before it occurs in the bed. In your heart today, in your mind today, so on, let's do a self-check. Are we still being faithful to God? Or is our heart no, already committing adultery? It's all your heart. It's all your soul. And it's all your might. So, being devoted to God is not a matter of partially devoting yourself to God. It's all or nothing. It's either you love God or you don't love God. Inana lang na siya kasimple, mga isoon. In fact, the stress na ni Jesus Christ sa Matthew 22, 37, this is the first and greatest commandment. No? Hindi ko malimot na ng mga isoon kay magin na ang word ni Pastor no? when, when we got married. No? Sa, on the wedding day of my wife, magin na siya ang word sa, word sa ginoo. Love the Lord God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul. This is the first and greatest commandment. So let me remind everyone, third on the list of our job description, to love the Lord. So to fear the Lord, to walk in the ways of the Lord, to love the Lord. And the fourth one is to serve the Lord. To serve the Lord, to walk in all His ways and love Him and to serve the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. That uh, supporting the very definition of serving God is not just simply serving God, but it's serving God with your heart. And take note the connection here of serving the Lord and loving the Lord. Because loving the Lord came first, right? So there's a reason nga nung giuna sa ginoo pagsulti ang loving Him first. So that we will know the reason why we have to serve the Lord. Because sometimes our service to God mahimo ng obligasyon. And ideally, no, it should be our love, the overflow of our love, the overflow of our worship to the Lord and we need to remind ourselves, mga igsoon, because uh, sometimes uh, along the way, no, mag-una na ang atong efforts, usa ang atong paghigugma sa ginoo. And wala natay kalipay, nagsige na lang tag pangalagad sa ginoo, nagsige na lang tag aris Sunday after Sunday, you, know, we are, you are serving the, the Lord through any ministry, but wala na kay kalipay, simkasing-kasing, wala na kay paghigugma sa ginoo. And we need to understand this, mga igsoon, no, that we don't serve God to gain His acceptance, we are accepted, so we serve God. And we don't follow Him in order to be loved. We are loved, so we follow Him. Nakita niyo ang presidensya ni mga Ikso, no? Mag-una dapat, no? Ang atong paghigugma sa ginoo. Because that's actually what happened, no? When we were saved by God. Gihigugma ta sa ginoo. And that's why we loved Him back and then we serve Him. Not the other way around. Because if you serve the Lord without love and joy, ma-burn out na ka sa unahan. So how can we serve the Lord? The book of Ephesians no, um, tells us different functions in the ministry, in the church. It says here, And He gave some as apostles, some as prophets, some as evangelists, some as pastors and teachers for the equipping, equipping of the saints for the work of ministry, for the building up of the body of Christ. Now, kitang tanan, lain lain taog calling. We have unique gifts given to us by God. And the question is, are we responding to those gifts? Nagpagamit ba sa gino? Knowing that we have these gifts, unique, special gifts, no? and these gihatag ni sa ginoo no for for us nga magamita sa ministry and they uban siguro mag ask nga brad or lord wala man koy sama kong gifts what gifts do i have i'm not an apostle i'm not a prophet i'm not an evangelist i'm not pastor or teacher 
Well, it's so no, sultihan lang tika. It's not more of the position. It's not more of your rank in ministry. It's not more of how you will be defined in the in the ministry. But the bottom line is, are you willing and are you available to serve the Lord? Because note in verse 12, the reason ng mga lagad ka sa ginoo is because of you want to equip the saints and you want to build up the body of Christ. The question is, can you, can you equip without being, being an apostle? Yes. Can you build up the body of Christ? Nga dili ka prophet or evangelist or pastor or teacher? It's a big yes. So it does not matter what position you are in the, in the ministry or unsa yung ilang gitawag sa imuha. But the question is always, are you ready to serve the Lord? Are you ready to equip the saints? Are you ready to build up the body of Christ? And there's a reason nga gitawag tag body of Christ with Christ as the head because each of us has different functions. And if you compromise one of the, those functions, may isoon, no? Bisag tang tangan na gag-usa ka kuku. Pwede nang sakita na isoon. Di ba? Gamay lang nga kuan. Gamay lang nga part ni mga matang-tang. It, it will already be inconvenient for you. Spiritually, no? Atong i-apply. Any na to may isoon nga magkalisod or dili functioning effectively, then apiktuhan ang total body of Christ. Are you faithful in doing what God has called you to do? No? Diha sa imong gi, gi, gi servant karon nga ministry or what God has assigned you to, asa ka gitanom sa ginoo nga mamunga ka, are you faithful in that, in that ministry? Are you faithful in serving the Lord? So it's not just fearing the Lord. It's not just walking in, in the ways of the Lord. It's not just loving the Lord. It's not just to serve the Lord. There's a fifth on the list no, sa atong job description, which is to, to keep the Lord's word. To keep the Lord's word. That's in verse 13. And to keep the Lord's commandments and His statutes, which I am commanding you today for your good. What does it mean to keep? Taguon lang, ana. The true word meaning of keep is to treasure, to protect, and to watch over. And kung imong subayo, no? Gikan sa Exodus, Numbers, di ba? Uh, Leviticus, daghan kay gipang hatag yun ang ginoo, di ba? Gikan sa Ten Commandments, it's not just the Ten Commandments. Daghan pag other commandments, na mga ordinances, na mga property rights, na mga other laws, na mga uh, rules, uh, rituals in Sabbath, na mga mga guidelines sa imong pag-offer o sacrifices in the temple worship, the dimensions of the temple, daghan kayo. No? And the, the people are um, commanded by God nga to keep all of these commandments, no? to keep all of these commandments. And honestly speaking, it's very hard. Di ba? Kung natawa ka itong panahuna, it's really hard to obey um, each of those items. Lisod ka ayo, mga egsoon. And the reason, the reason nga nung lisod Para sa, especially para sa Israel, it's because they failed to recognize the true meaning of the word keep. They did not treasure the word of God in their hearts. Diba? Mga man akong naipamemorize sa imuha, diba? Kung naipamemorize sa imuha niya, dili, heartily ang imong pagmemorize, diba? Marag, dili kay ni mo ma-absorb. Kaya wala man ni mo heartily na pagmemorize. Maurasan niya mga isoon, diba? It says in, um, Psalm 119, 9 to 11. How can a young man keep his way pure? By guarding it according to your word. With my whole heart I seek you. Let me not wander from your commandments. I have stored up your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. 
So, the dis our disobedience, no? the disobedience that um, uh, uh, atong ipakita sa ginoo, it starts from our heart. It starts from our mind. The moment that we do not treasure the word of the Lord, it's very easy for us to sin. Di ba? It's very easy for us to sin. Di ba? Morning giingo ni uh, David, I have hidden your word, I have stored your word in my heart, that I will not sin against you. Because koto blanta pag pagbasa siguro, wana to gitunan pag ayo, we did not keep it, we did not treasure it. No? And morning usaka evidence mga igsuon kung tinudanay ka nga kristohanon. No? When you are uh, not just memorizing but internalizing no, the word of God in your heart. No? It says in 2 Corinthians 3 verse 3, naging si Paul diri, You are a letter of Christ delivered by us, written not with ink but with the spirit of the living God, not on tablets of stone but on tablets of human heart. So the proof of genuine faith is so on. It's not just all words. It not, it's not just mere compliance ng ako ng buhaton. It's transformation. So when God says here, na itong job description is to keep the word of God, it's not just reading and reading and reading. It's treasuring the word of God. We need to treasure it in our hearts. We need to bring it Wherever we go, kung asa ka mo mga igsoon, ginabit-bit na nimo ang pulong sa ginoo. Kaya naman, imo naman ang getreasure. Naanan ani mo. No? Of course, we bring our Bibles no? anywhere we go. But the Spirit will teach us spiritual things no? deep in our hearts. So, just a short, no? unsa naman tatong nakuan nga job description? Daghan pag-uban. No? I believe daghan pag-uban nga gibutang ang Ginoo nga job description but um, in this passage na lima no and i hope and pray nga kaning lima ka job description uh, na remind ta karon once again and ato po uh, let's pray to God no, that we will be faithful in complying this no to uh, to uh, uh, what's the first one to fear the Lord ikaduha to walk in the ways of the Lord. Ikatulo, to love the Lord. Ikaupat, to serve the Lord. And lastly, to keep the Lord's word. And bangutan nata, why do I really need to complete or fulfill this job description nga gihatag sa ginoo? It's a big yes. no? It's a big yes nga naman. Because everything, no, every little bit, every item of it, it's all for our good. It's all for our good. Wala, wala may lang gihunahuna ang ginuwa ni Iksoon. Nga nung iyahatang girimindan ka ron, ngayon mga butanga sa job description, no? it's always for our good. Nga nung kinahalaman ka nga mo, fear sa ginuo. No? Kaya dapat siya lang imong simbahon. Eh, because if not, no, you will be, uh, you'll be looking for other places of worship. You need to walk in His ways. Ano man, kaya dali ta maka, makakupya sa pattern sa kalibutan. We need to love Him. Di ba? Because if not, no, ang atong, faithful, ang atong faithfulness sa kuan, ang atong allegiance na nasa kalibutan, mahimo na tang idolatros. To serve Him. No? Dapat siya lang atong giserve, unya magserve ta niya, dapat na agay, paghigugma na ay kalipay. To keep His commandments. So all of these things, mga Iksoon, of course, these are all for the glory of God. At the end of the day, these are all for the glory of God. But let me remind you nga, kani mga butanga, it's all for your good. Nga nung gi, remind ta sige, no? It's all for our benefit. Kita ragyaha po ang mo benefit ni ining mga butanga. It's not to make our life hard. Di ba? Kill joy kayang gino. Di good ganahan ang gino nga maglipay-lipay ko. That Dili gina siya tinuod, mga Iksoon. Because God wants you not just to be happy, but to be joyful. Nga tinudanay o hugot ang imong kalipay, nga na lamang sa ginoo. And God is, God is, is not saying na uh, dapat ni natubuhaton kaning lima nga parts sa job description para 
na ay chance nga na atay good life. It's not God assures us that if we comply with all those things, all things will work out for our good. Because our heavenly Father is a good Father, di ba? Our fathers are mamigyan ni maguna na sa future sila mga anak, di ba? Di ni ganan masakitan and if naay may tabo, korekta ni disiplina. It mo po na ng atong amahan mo igsoon. Gipak igremind at niya karon because he loves us. And a good and loving father always disciplines his children. So going back to our illustration on job description, you are given a job description. No, kung nata sa kuan kanang kalib kanang sa ano work setting, ang company kita gang kag job description. O kaning job description, dili lang ni bisakin sa ang suwat aning job description. It was written by a group of people who studied your job and how you could contribute for the good of the organization. So in the same way, God has written our job description Himself. This is your job description. For our good and the glo glory of His name. So let me end here, mga Ikso. No? This is Mr. John F. Kennedy. This is not the John F. Kennedy na na-assassinate, but mo niya anak. Si John F. Kennedy Jr. So in 1999, mga igsoon, si John, si Kennedy, John F. Kennedy, nagpalupad siya sa iyang airplane, gamay, gamay niya nga airplane, uh, gikan sa New York, padong sa Massachusetts, in order to attend a wedding. And sa kain atong maong aeroplano was also his wife and the sister of her wife. Now, Kennedy, Usa ni siya ka license nga pilot. But unfortunately, si Kennedy, he was not given the approval for instrument flight. Meaning mag-base ka sa pag navigate sa sa mag-operate ka sa eroplano, pinagi sa mga instrument dito, di ba? Naman ay mga panel kana makita na to sa leader, di ba? Nga gamito na nimo. So the license nga naa ni John F Kennedy was only for visual. Pwede siya visual flight. Makakita sa, sa mga surroundings, mo ang, ang nakita. So, ingon na niya kong buhaton. But not the instrument rating. Now, ang ilang take off na delay, eh, nakalupad sila, ngit-ngit na. Now, Kennedy, no, uh, ang ayunta siyang maghuwat pa, siguro, next day na lang, or unsa, or mangita o lain nga pilot nga mas experience nga na ay rating atong uh, instrument panel. Yet, ni padayon gihapon si Kennedy og paglupad niya on that night it was very very dark and the plane wala gyud na abot sa iyang destination all the three passengers Mr. Kennedy his wife and the sister of his wife they all died in the crash bi sa investigation nakita dito ang hinungdan nganong na crash ang airplane it's because the pilot Mr. Kennedy underwent a disorientation disorientation meaning wala na siya sense of left right north uh, north south west east wala na siya inana nga no man it was pitch black the weather in that place grabe and nagsalig na lang siya nagsalig ba siya sa iyang unsa iyang naibawaan which is visual and wala siya kahibalo mahitungod sa instrumentation So what's the story here, mga igsoo, no? Human efforts and human reasons will always fail us. But God never fails us. His word keeps us on the right course as long as we obey Kennedy, nagtanaw siya sa iyang, nisalig siya sa iyang human na nature. Which should be, dapat nisalig siya sa ginoo. So let's not make the same mistake as Israel did. They followed their own ways, their stubborn ways, and they disobeyed the Lord. God has provided us with His Word to be our guide and to be our security. So let us obey and love Him. 
because it's all for our good. So are you already hired? Na-hire na ba ka sa, sa kumpanya, sa ginoo? Because you cannot enjoy this job description if you are not hired. Are you hired? No? Do you belong to the family of God? If not, let's pray to God, no? Let's receive Christ in our hearts. And if you, if you are already hired, have you fulfilled the job God requires from you? That God requires you to do. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you and we praise you, O God, this time. Thank you for reminding us, O God, our spiritual job description, O God. And Lord, knowing these things, O God, nga, it seems impossible to obey, Lord God. But Lord, by your grace, by your power, by your spirit, O God, nothing is impossible, Lord God. So help us, Lord, as we continue our life, as we continue to our journey. Nga gibitbit ni namo, Lord, ang kaning among job description. Help us to obey, O God, because we know that it's all for our good. It's all for your glory. Hallelujah. We thank you. And we praise you, Lord. All glory belongs to you alone. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. God bless everyone. God, I hope na na ang mga element niya ninyo. Ako lang ning basahon ng 
First Corinthians chapter 11, verse 23. For I received from the Lord what I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus on the night when he was betrayed took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way also he took the cup, after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until He comes. Hallelujah. Kining atong ginabuhat makaigsunan every first Sunday is to remind us that Jesus Christ died for us on the cross. Your sin and my sin have been forgiven because Christ died for those sins. He cleanses us. He gives us His righteousness. All we have to do is just believe that He had done it for us. So let's come before the Lord and pray. Lord, I pray that you bless this element, that this element, Lord, will remind us of your faithfulness, of your grace, of your mercy, that you have died us and cleansed us and have saved us. And all we could say, thank you, Lord. When we partake this, Father, may our heart be full of thankfulness and we may be continually exalting you because of what you have done to us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Ato nindungan ng pagkaon ng pan o pag-inom ang sulod sa kupa. Ah. Oh, God. Oh, Lord, salamat. Salamat, Ginoo, sa imong kaluwasan. Salamat, Lord, sa imong gibuhat sa imong kinabuhi. You deserve everything, Father. And I just like to pray, Father God, that may you be the one to continually be exalted ni ining kinabuhi na imong gibago. Lord, nagampo ko, Ginoo, sa mga kaigsuunan na mo karon na naminaw ni ini. Please bless them, Lord. Please work upon their hearts. Please help them, Father God. Nagunsa may imong pakikistorya kanila. May come to pass. Make them a blessing. Help them to serve you. Help them to learn contentment. And help them, Father God, that they will bring glory to your glorious name. Thank you in everything. We commit everything to the Lord. This is a prayer in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Praise God. Maayong buntag kayong tanan. And I hope you will enjoy the day. God bless you all.